What is up my 37,000 MMO and RPG lovers, stay safe here and today I wanted to talk a bit about what my plans are for Elden Ring and how I will be approaching the game. Now Elden Ring is looking to be such a colossal game with tons of variety and I've been asked a lot what class I'm playing, what my goals are, what my approach is going to be, what my content plans are. So let's just get it all in a video on the record and talk about it and start breaking some of these things down. And hey, if you enjoy my videos, please do me a favor and like the video, drop a comment when we're done, and make sure to subscribe as well because it all helps me with the YouTube algorithm more than you can even imagine. It helps a ton. So with all that being said, let's just jump right into things. So first off, I plan on doing, of course, a full playthrough, as I'm sure many of you guys will be doing as well, completing all the key objectives and mandatory bosses. But as I understand it, there are tons of optional bosses and optional content and other various optional things along the way. And uh, this stuff isn't really so shoved in your face. So I really want to make sure to complete all of that content as well on my first playthrough, um, even if it means going a little bit more slowly as far as, you know, killing the final boss goes. So I'm not really rushing to beat the game per se, but I want to complete all of the additional content, bonus content, you know, content off the beaten path as well. I really want to approach Elden Ring with a sort of completionist mindset and spend a lot of time exploring obscure areas and finding secret items and random world events. And I may end up consolidating some of the best tips and tricks that I sort of discover along that process into a concise video that maybe uh, can help some of you guys to a certain degree. Um, but I want to definitely play the game uh, through its entirety and do all of that stuff I mentioned before I do something like that because I want to be really intimate and familiar with the game before I start giving people advice in like a video format. But I really love the feeling of researching a lot and learning a ton of information about a new game and then being able to answer questions or give advice and feedback to those of you that ask for it. So make sure to follow me on Twitch where I'm going to be streaming Elden Ring pretty much like 16 hours a day every day for the foreseeable couple weeks as we kind of plow through all of this stuff. Now, speaking of Twitch and sort of the Elden Ring content that I plan on making, I'm really looking forward to playing through the game with invasions enabled. And I might regret saying that, meaning you guys can drop in and sort of uh, pay me a visit as I'm going about my first playthrough. Then expanding on this, I would love, uh, I think it would be super fun to do some sort of dual tournaments where you guys can kind of show off your builds and show off your uh, your play styles that you found that you like and get you guys involved and kind of duke it out or have you guys fight and I'm kind of the judge or do, you know, do something like that. And maybe even have some sort of low key Elden Ring uh, kind of like fashion contest where you guys can also show off your... Uh, some, some of the outfits you've put together. But that stuff aside, at least on my first playthrough, I do want to approach the game from a pretty much solo point of view. But when doing exploration later on, or uh, during my second playthrough, I think it would be really fun to team up with some of you guys actually, and experience the game from a multiplayer point of view as well, because I think you can have four people in the same game progressing together actually, if you, uh, if you all choose to do so. Now, as for the class I'm playing, I think I've pretty much decided on playing the Astrologer with a really big focus on Spirit Ash summons and sort of commanding an army of uh, minions in game. And as I understand it, the Elden Ring summons are actually really uh, limited in scope and can only be used in certain areas and can only be used once per bonfire rest or whatever the bonfire equivalent is in Elden Ring. So I'm really looking forward to learning how to kind of min-max uh, those summons and get the most out of them and incorporate them into my gameplay in the best way possible. Choosing this playstyle also means that I'm going to be pretty much prioritizing mind for more focus points and dexterity for reduced cast time and intelligence for more uh, sort of magic attack power. So I'll have to come up with some sort of gear set that accommodates these stats and the playstyle as I'm progressing along. And hopefully I'll end up looking like some sort of badass wizard going down this path rather than some uh, guy wearing a garbage bag pretty much. But with Dark Souls type of games or Elden Ring, I guess you never really know. Um, as far as keepsakes, this also means that I'm going to be picking the, uh, the Fanged Imp Ashes as my starter item as my keepsake, which will let me summon a pack of imps to sort of fight alongside me while I'm getting my, barons, uh, my bearings in the, uh, in the Elden Ring world. Now, on a completely different note, when going through games, I'm normally uh, really shameless when it comes to skipping dialogue and cutscenes, and I kind of ignore the story and the lore typically as I'm going through games. But uh, 
that normally means that I have no idea what's going on in the game, which has historically uh, sort of inhibited me from enjoying more story-driven games. And while I know that Elden Ring isn't really, uh, the story isn't super shoved in your face when compared to numerous other games, for example, like Final Fantasy XIV or a game like that, I do want to make a really big effort to sort of uh, get my ADHD under control and uh, try to actually keep up with what's going on. Uh, because on a basic level, I do really, really enjoy the uh, sort of world building and aesthetic of Elden Ring. So while I do really want to sort of min-max Elden Ring and get as much out of my playstyle as I possibly can and put a lot of research and thought into it, um, like I've done with a lot of other games I've played, I'm eager to also kind of change up my approach uh, going into Elden Ring and try to get a little bit more immersed than I normally do. And I mean, like, you know, if there's, if there's ever a game to try to get immersed in, it's probably a game like Elden Ring, right? The final thing I want to talk about is my own skill level when it comes to Souls games. So I've beaten Dark Souls 1 and I've played through about half of Dark Souls 3 uh, and I'm really excited for Elden Ring of course obviously because of this open world kind of sandbox vibe it has, but by no means am I a Souls gamer god. I bring this up because I expect while playing through Elden Ring, and I'll, I'll be streaming it right, uh, to be dying a lot, struggling a lot, and probably raging out at some point. But at least this will make it uh, hopefully somewhat of a relatable journey for some of you guys at least that are going through a similar process. But really, I think in a lot of ways, the fun with a lot of these Souls games or Souls type games is kind of the process of dying 50 times, getting pissed off, raging out a little bit, and then finally overcoming the challenge and feeling like a badass, right? But pretty much, uh, those are my plans for Elden Ring, guys. So let me know what you think and drop a comment. And like I said, make sure to please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed this type of content. Um, or if you have any other cool ideas or suggestions on how to approach Elden Ring that you have, please let me know. And maybe I can uh, try to do some of your, your guys' uh, ideas as well. But uh, also, in the description of this video, what I want to do is include a straw poll for you guys to uh, enter in which class you plan on playing and as an extension, which type of playstyle you plan on pursuing in Elden Ring. And I want to see what is the most popular class, how are you guys going to be playing the game. So make sure to check the bio and please vote in that straw poll. I'm really curious actually. But uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to be streaming Elden Ring a lot over the next couple weeks. So please make sure to drop a follow on Twitch, find me on Twitch, and that's also in the bio as well. And come say hi. But anyways, guys, thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for watching my video. And as always, guys, Stay safe.